Oh my God. <sighs> okay, well, I lived here for a while and I've never had anyone really close to my apartment building window be smoking weed. So like when I walked up to the window, it's, I can definitely smell someone nearby has a little bit joint. So that means someone in the construction site right across the street just lit up or one of my neighbors is blowing it out their window. Anyways, hi YouTube. It is six o'clock, quarter past six. I've been to physical therapy already. The shoulder I believe is getting better. I feel like it's 95%, maybe in a month or so, I can slowly start getting back into the weight. That's assuming the gyms don't close back up. The latest news is, I haven't checked the news yet, but certain counties in some states are closing things that they had reopened before. It's so difficult to know what's open, what's not open, because every single county in this country has some sort of unique authority to do things their own way. How many counties are there in the US? Like several hundreds, maybe thousands? The pho I had last night was really, really good. It's one of my favorite foods, my top three favorite foods. One of them is pho. And I actually have it only like once a month. But one of the things I do when I come back from a trip usually is I'll have pho. I don't know why, but it's just kind of sort of like a welcome home comfort food type thing that I do. So that's why I usually have it once a month because on average, I travel once a month, but I haven't had pho since April. So it's been like a little while. I really, really like it. So I got the extra large pho last night and after I ate it, I was definitely full, but I kept wanting to eat. It's just that weird feeling like like you want to keep putting food in your mouth. Today, I had breakfast, I had lunch. We're just coming up to dinner. So I just had some dinner. I just had some fish fillets from the fridge and some fries. And like, I still want to eat. It's so weird. So now I'm going to have a protein bar. All right, I just got a haircut. You like? After I took a shower, I realized that I was completely out of moisturizer, which is a code red. So I'm trying to order some new moisturizer ASAP right now. I think I have this weird condition where it's called sweat rash, where if I sweat on the back of my neck, my skin gets irritated and itchy and kind of sort of scaly. I should go see a doctor about that. It's getting kind of late, so we're gonna do comments on the iPhone and not the big, huge camera, because that takes an extra 20 seconds. Cinny, hi Cinny, I've not seen you comment before, says, are you trying to make a vid together? Together with who slash what? M Johnson says, I have this huge sweet tooth, and let's just say that sometimes it gets me into a huge amount of trouble Lol, what is your favorite go-to food, Joey? I noticed you like to hit the dip and blue chips pretty hard sometimes. Yeah, I like chips and salsa quite a bit. I'll like eating it for like a week, then I'll be sick of it, and then I'll repeat that cycle. But that's like a newer thing that I'm starting to eat, actually. If we're talking about junk food, this is my two cents on it. Either I try to eat healthy. If I'm gonna go eat ice cream, I'm gonna have full dairy food full fat, full sugar ice cream. None of this like skim milk ice cream or non-dairy ice cream, whatever. If I'm gonna have junk food, I am gonna go all the way. Cheesecake, which is one of my favorite foods. Burgers and fries, just like fast food, in and out is awesome. Another brand new commenter, Lawrence Mysterian. Hello, question one, have you thought of a name for us instead of Hey YouTube? Two, have you seen in the news this huge death storm coming from the Sahara Desert. And three, have you seen the show Game Boys on YouTube? If not, check it out. One, I have not thought of a name for you viewers other than Hey YouTube. I think I just said Hey YouTube since ever I started this channel millions of years ago. And I've just kept on saying that. I didn't know that there were enough of you guys out there that were like repeat viewers for me to give you all a name, like a fan name. If you guys would like a name for me to 
call you as a collective group of subscribers? Comment down below and give me some ideas. Two, I've seen the headlines about this huge dust storm, but I have not read about it to be completely honest. Three, I have no idea what this show is. I am definitely gonna need to go check it out. Eugene C says, Faith, Pho, Mine is Pho, 2000 are Larkin. Hope they make it through the pandemic. The one Vietnamese place I really like is Jasmine Garden. They are just off Market and Church by the Safeway at DeBose Triangle. I don't know if they're still open or not, actually. I used to live fairly close to them, like within walking distance. So sometimes I would just like go there with friends and have fun. Christopher, you got a couple of comments. This past weekend was the Dragon Boat Festival in Taiwan. It's a government holiday there. I did not know that. And you said about the movers you recommended, they were pretty good. They used a ton of packing material. So nothing was damaged, but a few was pretty wasteful. I think movers or some of the better movers, they try to use reusable packing material whenever possible, like corporate box, obviously tape you can't reuse, but it's necessary or blankets or cloths as much as possible instead of using things like bubble wrap or paper. The last time I moved, I actually packed my kitchen, like my plates and cups and glasses into one of these plastic containers or a couple of them myself. And I use recycled paper to go in between the plates and the glasses. And I was able to at least recycle that paper afterwards. Cast DeVille, I think you should have at least three options before you put down an offer. So there are two options I was looking at over the weekend. One of them was reviewing offers earlier this afternoon. And other one we just toured today and they are reviewing offers on Thursday. But I'm just not convinced that I wanna put an offer into either place. So originally I was planning, I might put in an offer for the place where we reviewing the offers today. Over the weekend, I decided, no, that place isn't right. And then I'm thinking, do I wanna put in an offer for this other place where they're reviewing the offers on Thursday, the place I toured today? Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I don't wanna rush it. I think I just wanna wait it out. We'll see. Christopher, one more from you. You watched the reboot. I assume you're talking about Will and Grace on YouTube TV. So I was thinking about getting YouTube TV before, but Whatever streaming service I get, it has to be less than $20 because that's how much my credit card gives me in credits. And I don't want to spend a ton of money on stuff like YouTube TV, which is like $55 or $60 a month. No, thank you. Last comment comes from UM Johnson. According to the website, Austria GP is next weekend. They're talking about getting pro sports back up and running, at least without fans attending in person. Auto motor racing has started back up, mostly without fans. Looks like you were kind of involved with racing as a kid, watching Indy 500, going to local racetracks on weekends. Wow, you did quite a bit of motorsports stuff. You prefer the city races, like the street circuits, like Monaco race, which I've been to before. Wow, looks like you're a bit of a gearhead, M. Johnson. Great to meet another gearhead. Oh man, I've been hungry all afternoon. Ever since I got back from physical therapy, I've been hungry. I had breakfast, I had lunch, and I had like a decent amount of food. Like there's a little bit of exercise involved in physical therapy and I walk 20 minutes, what? No, it's a half hour walk. Half hour walk each way, but I'm gonna have to eat food. I'm just like hungry. I get the feeling like, it's not because I'm not eating food, it's like, I have worms in my stomach or something. Anyways, I'll figure that out after I finish vlogging. Today's Monday, work was fine today. It was a pretty regular day at work. And tomorrow is meeting Tuesday. So all the meetings are on Tuesdays. And then Wednesday is the last day of the work week for me. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we're gonna go slightly out of town. So. I don't think we'll have vlogs. I think it'll be similar to when I went down to SoCal a week ago where I tried to film some things and if I get the chance and I upload a tiny little mini vlog, but it's likely that we are not gonna have a vlog every day. So just brace yourself for that. If we don't have a vlog, during the 40 long weekend. Today is the 96th episode. That means we'll hit a hundred episodes sometime next week after the weekend. And then yeah, we'll decide how much further we wanna carry out the vlog for until tomorrow. Bye YouTube.